Good morning, everybody. So I uh, did another sanctuary vlog today. Going to feed the pigs and the goats right now. Hi, guys. Look at him, they're so excited. Julie! Julie! Hi. Hi, big pig. Hi, Petunia. Hi, Toonie. Yeah, you're all wet. Why are you all wet? So check this out. The chickens just dug this out. So I think it's a toy gun, but either way, it's really, really old. Um, I don't know if you guys saw me talk about this before, but when I was digging the fence to put in for the pigs, I actually found uh, some crazy old stuff, one of which was a bottle um, that was two feet deep down into the ground, two feet down, uh, and it was a bottle from 1920 had a date on it And then I also found like uh, marbles that are like homemade marbles again two feet deep down in the ground So like a hundred years old back in the day They used to make marbles and uh, out of clay and then glaze them themselves at home because they couldn't afford to go out and buy real marbles, but either way this uh, land that we're on here has a lot of crazy long history. And so this is probably just, you know, like a, like a kid's toy gun, but it's probably pretty darn old. All right, so they're out here framing out the rebar for the third alligator pond right now. So this is uh, really, really awesome, really exciting stuff. It's really hard to get an idea of the depth when you're looking at it like this, but it's gonna be about six feet deep and uh, pretty darn big. So this is really, really exciting stuff. I cannot wait until we can get all of this done and get some gators and crocs over here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and collect all the animal bowls and then clean them, do food prep, all that stuff. So first up, uh, collecting up the parrot bowls. Good morning, Mr. Jellybean. How are we doing today? Hmm? You look like you're feeling bitey. Let me see what he does. Look, can I see my hat? Oh, oh, yeah, I told you he wants to bite. I can see it in your face. If I do not come bearing blueberries, you're gonna rip something off. All right, I just grabbed out all the fox bowls. Hi, guys. Hi, Jet. You ate all your food? You ate all of it? Yeah. Hi, Jet. He's like, you don't have new food. We're not friends. Jet. I'm not falling for that. And look at Asami. Oh, this chunky skunk. Oh, you feeling cuddly today? Yeah. Look at her. You feeling cuddly? You're so cute. Just sniffing around for food. I don't have any food yet. Oh, look at her. Oh, big yawn. My chunky skunk. They're so cute. So now we take these dirty bowls and make them clean. You guys gonna help? And like magic, they're all suddenly clean. Not like that was 20 minutes gone by. So I'm always finding new spots where the chickens have been laying eggs. Always in here, this box of Timothy hay. Pretty funny. Hi, Daisy. So now we're in here with Erin. She's one of our volunteers and we're cleaning up some pig poop. Hi, Daisy. Oh, hi, Daisy. Daisy wants some attention and Petunia. Hi, Tony Pig. So a lot of people asking about um, Petunia's health and what's going on with that. And we don't know. Petunia seems super healthy and happy and doesn't seem like anything's wrong. Um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, we did have a vet give Petunia a... Uh, a cancer diagnosis, but we have since come to uh, maybe want a second opinion on that because everything seems fine. And a few other pig experts were saying that they don't think that's the case. So we would like to get a second opinion, although that doctor was super awesome and did a great job. Um, we just, you know, don't seem like anything's wrong. And we've had a few people say they've never heard of that kind of cancer in pigs. So we don't know. But um, yeah, so a lot of people keep on asking like, what's going on? Is Petunia dying? And nope, Petunia is uh, good as ever and aggressive as well. Super aggressive this morning, but being really sweet now. What are you doing, Nilla? That's for the poop. That's for the poop. It's not for the goats. Hi, Julie. 
Oh, Julie! Julie! Hi, Julie! Hi! Hi, Julie! Hello! You just like to sit and talk. I try to put my phone in there, just on it. Am I not giving you attention? <clears throat> Am I not giving you attention? No. So as we're in here cleaning up the poop that's all over, Julie just dumped a fresh one. Petunia's sniffing it. Petunia, don't you do that. It's gross. Thanks, Julie. Daisy pig. Love a daisy pig. Daisy. Oh, hi Daisy. Oh. Daisy's so funny. She's like the sweetest one, but also if you don't have food, she's not your friend as much. Daisy, that's us. She's like, I know what that is. Daisy pig. Oh, can I scratch your belly? Can I scratch your belly? Oh, let me scratch that belly. Oh, let me scratch that belly. Oh, let me scratch your belly. You gonna flop over? You gonna flop over? Look at this thing. Look at this chunk. What is this? What is this? We barely even feed you. How are you chubby? How are you so chunky, huh? How are you so chunky? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, easy. Oh, no, no, that's enough. What? You too cool? You too cool? I'm a daisy. Julie! Julie Pig! Julie! <laughs> They're harassing Erin. I know. Julie! All right, so we got a wheel barrel full of pig poop. So we're gonna go get rid of this, and then um, we're gonna feed the quaddies, we're gonna deep clean them, and then go take the same, same wheel barrel and load it up with tortoises in a little bit too. There you go, Asami. You eating a pepper? That's her favorite. And there she goes. That's her favorite thing. She's gonna run away with it so I can't steal it from her. All right, now it's time to uh, lock out the kawadis. They're very excited about their food, so we're gonna lock them out and then do a deep clean. You guys are crazy. All right, so I just locked out the quaddy, so now we're going to uh, clean up the poop that is here, and then we're gonna do the actual deep clean. All right, so doing the quaddy deep clean, so we're just gonna spray everything out first. A lot of this gets a lot better if you just let the water sit. And then once we uh, get it all nice and wet, we're gonna scrub it, bleach it. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of, just a little bit of bleach on here so I can scrub that in. That's just a tiny bit. You guys hear the owl in the background, so that's a barred owl we think might be nesting pretty close to here.
All right, so look at this difference. All that rug coming off. All right, so that's uh, the whole quad enclosure deep clean. Everything looks good. We're ready to uh, let them back in. So we're gonna let Lily out first, just so she gets to explore a little bit without the other quaddies just chasing her. Hey, Lil. Hey, Lil. She came up and smelled me. Yeah. Should we give her some little snackins? Little marshmallow, yeah. Hi, Lil. Oh, I don't know if I would... oh, Yeah, I know. I want to see if she'd take it with her. She's right, let's pretty being gentle, gentle when you give her snacks. Let's be gentle. Not for Bam. Ooh, you want the bag. She's being real gentle. There you go, Lil. So for your new followers, what's Lily's deal? So Lily is the Kawadi that we caught running around loose. Um, get out of here. This is not for you. Uh, so she was running around loose and what we think is that she was kept in a very, very small cage and not well taken care of because uh, when we first caught her, one of her claws was grown all the way, hooked back into her own palm and uh, she was malnourished and just did not look good at all. So I wanna see what she does. And pooped out a ton of plastic. And pooped out a ton of plastic. There you go. Um, she's not friendly. No, bam. Yeah, she's not friendly. She will like actually attack you. So that's why, you know, I'm feeding her through the cage right now. The other ones you, you see I go in with, we do not go in with her um, unless we absolutely have to or something. Oh, that's kinda of cute though. Nope, not for you. Get out of here. But, um, yeah, so she's pretty sketchy. There you go. But she's our favorite. <laughs> she's being so gentle, though. That's... What is on your face? Come here. Her face is covered. <laughs> what were you doing in there? Look at your face. You are covered in dirt. What were you doing in there? And then whenever we're cleaning, these guys are not far behind. Oh, look at this big turkey. Oh, Comet. Oh, Comet, come here. My big guy. Look at this big boy. He doesn't like clover, though. And then you. Yes, you. The constant soundtrack in the background of everything. That's Birdie, and he's a male Muscovy duck, and yep, his face is supposed to look like that. That's what Muscovy ducks do look like. Now, the problem is he was raised indoors, and he doesn't know he's a duck. Like, I'm not making a joke. He imprinted on humans and dogs. Like, I'm not joking. So, he does not associate with the other ducks. He won't hang out with the other ducks. And instead, he tries to uh, have sex with Bam all day. And Bam is not happy about that. So, you ever see the videos where Bam is just running for her life, and then this thing's flying after her? That's what's going on. So, bird, bird. Look at that mohawk. It's so funny. Bird, bird, bird. What you doing, bird? All right, so now we're gonna do uh, gather up the red foot tortoises because tonight it's getting down pretty low. So we gotta catch all these guys up.
Oh, you got the big girl. We move Fergus. And let's play some tortoise Tetris. Well, it's a good thing they have shells. Oh, here's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, two left. I already took the roof off of this. That's what I'll do is, uh, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I just hold the rooftops down with uh, logs, or a piece of the logs rather, instead of actually screwing them in. That way we can easily take the roof off whenever we have to collect these guys up. There it is. And it's got the other one. And this will be the last one. kind of cool to see how they they try to tuck her down into the leaf litter or down in against a log or something like that getting ready for the cold weather like they know it's coming and they try to uh hide from it but you know we'll just take them inside all right tortoise tetris All right, so since Hazel has been picking on the other two foxes so much, what we're gonna do is build another one of these. Yay. I mean, no, it is great. I'm, I'm giving this sarcastic yay because it means, uh, you know, another couple thousand dollars to do it, but she's really bullying them a lot. They're not happy And you can it. see they're bonded. Look, they're yeah. always together and she just wants to cause trouble. <laughs> yeah, so we will So we're gonna give get her, her a boyfriend. We'll give her a boyfriend that um, will hopefully uh, be a little bit more dominant and be able to they'll get along better since they're both uh, hopefully gonna be you know more dominant and hopefully they'll bond together it's more more likely they will bond together and be happier like they're bonded they're happy together they like each other um, which also means we will be adopting another fox <laughs> okay yeah. um but yeah so what we're thinking about doing is just taking just duplicating this on the other side and then expanding the lockout so it's a little bit bigger and then having it connected to both that way you go through one door you can go in either enclosure and then you can also use this as a shift if you want to move them all into one or give them little play dates together because i'm sure they're still going to want to you know hang out together on occasion just not have constantly you know being messed with by a more dominant individual you know and we can um, include these little trees just like we included this palm we don't have any palms but we do have these like little trees so we're going to just clear all of this out all of these extra vines yeah and so they'll have like trees and some natural looking stuff it's gonna be awesome so what we're doing right now is try to trim these up a little bit and i mean just really the vine so this is a muscadine grapevine which is uh considered it is a native species but it's considered like a native invasive a lot of people uh when you get into like the whole botany thing like being invasive just means that it invades areas and takes over uh, which is usually non-native invasives is what we usually talk about but in this case it is a native invasive so i'm just gonna i don't know if i can pull yeah i think i can just yeah. pull a good bit of it just right off without having to cut anything oh yeah and then i also think we might be able to uh just trim the top of this and it'll still grow some because if you look at the other ones that have been cut of this kind this is one of the laurel or water oaks it looks like some of them have already been trimmed and they still uh grow out if you trim the top because that's already higher than this roof so it's gonna need to be trimmed either way so you wanted a male from the beginning huh so it's kind of like it's all working out yeah are you excited to finally name an animal at the sanctuary, baby? Gabby doesn't let me name anything. <laughs> well, She's it's just because I have better. Me. It's just because I have better names. She does have much better names than I do. But I know he he wanted to name a fox a specific name, and I told him it's a male name, not a female name. So now we're getting a male. So now you get to name a fox. I know, but we're not saying the name yet because I want to wait until we get him. <laughs> 
Hazel, you little troublemaker, baby. You little troublemaker. All right, so we're losing light and uh, getting a little dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this stuff before I continue it tomorrow or the next day. But um, I did want to attack that last bit over there. And uh, yeah. This is just such a mess of this. All right, so sun is setting and uh, it's gonna get kind of cold tonight. So I just turned on the heat lights for that aviary and this one, as you can see. And right now we're gonna go ahead and plug in Jumanji. I love these extension cords that light up, but plug his house in for his heat. And uh, I think that's everybody. We'll do a double check on everything. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Akrovi. But um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.